Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Today we're gonna to do an unboxing of Tank on Tank West Front from Lock and Load Publishing. This is an introductory level war game of tactical combat on the West Front in 1944 and 1945. Let's open it up and take a look at what's inside and offer some initial impressions. I like the design of the cover, just kind of brings you right into the mood of the game. We've got a tank firing, tank on tank, it's right here. Let's get started kind of thing. Before we do get started, I want to call attention that this is the brother game to Tank on Tank East Front, which uses the same system to cover combat on the East Front of World War II. So we have that, but our focus now, of course, is Tank on Tank West Front. Box is a little bit over an inch thick, so relatively straightforward component set inside, as one would expect for a game of this complexity level and this target audience. Again, this is a game designed for introducing people to war games and also to kind of, you've got a young commander, as it mentions here, that you want to introduce to war gaming as well. One of the things I'm particularly interested in looking at this game uh, for is to see how it works as an introductory hex encounters war game. I feel like a lot of introductory war games uh, are not necessarily hex encounters game games, so I'm particularly interested to see how this works as an introduction to war game uh, with hex encounters. Now, the complexity rating here regarding that is a three out of 10. I feel like that's about right. I might be inclined to give it more a two out of 10, but I do want to say, uh, kind of looking through the rules and things like that, this is not a dirt simple game. This is a game that does have some subtlety to, new, to tactics and some nuance to the strategies and things like that that you're going to be using while playing. So this is not a simple, just die roll, knock each other out type of game. It's gonna require some thinking and there are some kind of layers to the rules here. I don't think that breaks it as an introductory game. I think it actually is aiming for a sweet spot beyond just kind of units slamming into each other. Let's create some tactical variation that's still going to kind of make for some interesting gameplay. And of course, Again, don't know until you play it. That's kind of speculating based on the rules and things like that. But I like where they've landed, at least from a rule set, in terms of complexity. Three, again, feels about right. I might be inclined to give it a two. Uh, Solitaire rating uh, is a seven out of ten. I feel like uh, that's uh, that's spot on. There's no solitaire bot system for this, so if you're going to play this solitaire, you're gonna be playing both sides. There aren't any hidden movement rules or anything like that that would make solitaire particularly cumbersome. And at the same time, uh, I think that an eight action point system that's in this game is gonna work really well for a solitaire system. I like those kind of things where you run out of action points and then the game switches to the other side and you've gotta take control of them. So I think that's a particularly nice mechanic for a solitaire system. In terms of scale of the game, it doesn't specifically say in any place that I've been able to find yet, but because these tanks have a facing element to them, I'm assuming that these are individual units and like the infantry units here are kind of squad level range, so I think that's the scale of it. I mean, there is a little bit of abstraction to combat in a game that's this simplified, so you know, I think you could imagine it as platoon level or individual unit level. Either one, I think, looks like it's gonna work fine. Let's open it up now and take a look at what's inside. We start out with a black and white die. There are two dice there, very good. And we have our game manual. Again, modest game manual, 10 pages here, not counting the cardboard covers here. So really 14, I guess, if you were to add them all up together. Uh, relatively straightforward rule set. If we kind of go through the rules here, we've got a table of contents, rules start on page three, two, three, and then we go to the other side here. Four, and then this page here starts the design your own scenario system. So really we're talking four pages of rules. So very modest rule set. Uh, the, I will call attention to this design your own scenario system. We'll take a look at the player aid late, uh, later, but there is a player aid that gives all the point values for the units. So you're, uh, you know, you could, with using that, you can design your own scenarios. And there's a good bit of maps in here too. So I in particularly for new war gamers, I think kind of leading them into that design your own situation is a nice plus to this system because I think especially when kids are playing, they probably want to design their own, and so it makes it really easy to do that, kind of leveling up, if you would, both the depth and engagement of the game, at least the potential to do that. So I'm excited that that's there too. That's, I think, a nice thing to kind of have in the game here. If we do look through the rules, just to kind of highlight a few key mechanics here, there is, again, a facing system for tanks. Um, we have an action point system, which is going to be variable, so you're going to be going back and forth, playing both sides until you kind of run out of action points, which I think works really well. It's a fun system to play, and it also works really well for solitaire and there is a note here for modifying that on for a solitaire level in terms of how to make that work uh, in a solitaire system there is line of sight for combat so we do have range of units and line of sight factors to kind of figure out so again you know the idea that this is not a dirt simple game this is a a, a very kind of, i think it's a 
thought out system that says, how can we reach that sweet spot between introductory level of complexity and interesting gameplay? That's, I think, what it's really aiming for. We've got artillery support. There are some different characteristics between soft targets, so infantry, and then hard targets like tanks. We've got some improved positions, truck units, airstrikes. So you get the idea. This is, again, there's a good bit going on here. You, aces, you can have a unit that's got particularly high level of skill. So there's a, you know, there's a, there's a, a lot going on here that they cover in four pages of rules. Again, it is a simple system, but they've kind of brought kind of a nice amount of kind of enhancements to it, I think, to make it a kind of an intriguing system. We talked about the scenario system here, but this is the, this is the set of scenarios that comes with the game. There are 14 altogether of varying size and scope and duration. And again, there's a bunch of maps you're going to be using the different maps that are in the game here as well. So it looks good. I mean, there's a good variety of here. I can see, you know, playing through all the 14 scenarios is going to have some pretty good depth to it. And then you add in the factor that you've got design your own scenarios. So, you know, a, a good amount of depth for a light package of, of a war game here. Let's take a look at our counters now. These are all printed on two sides. They're one inch thick. However, there is no step system for the games. We can see the backside is basically, you know, generic US marker here. Uh, you know, I like these. I like the design of these units here. Um, I think they're kind of really clean, easy, elegant to look at. Gray is the Germans, and, that, and then the green here is the U.S. forces. And then we have a few set of markers down here designating for action points. You're basically going to kind of blind pick these, and you're going to, either, you're going to get either two, three, or four as you get through your turn, which is you know, quite a bit of variety there if you get a two compared to a four, representing kind of the shifting nature of war. But again, we get tanks, infantry, we get some anti-tanks, some hot artillery, some anti-tank guns, armored infantry. So a good variety, I think, of, of units and capabilities here in terms of, uh, you know, a relatively straightforward rule set. So there we go. There's our counters here. We get uh, one player aid. It is uh, two-sided. The first side here is really your turn track, terrain effects, and then the facing diagram. So kind of the key information distilled from the rules. The other side of this, which is the the point value system. So every unit is given a point value for designing your own scenarios. So you, again, you, you know, you'd be using this when designing your own scenarios. Then when you're playing the actual game, you don't need that. So you'd be using this side of it here. So it makes sense to have this player aid one cardboard. Really, you know, it's, it's a Nice piece of cardboard, good thickness and things like that, but it makes sense to have it printed on both sides. Let's take a look at our maps. There are two slash four of them here, and I think they're going to fit nicely onto the screen here. Hexes are an inch and three eighths across. So good, again, fitting in that idea of you know, each unit is an inch wide and each hex is an, an inch and three quarters. So really easy kind of footprint to play with. And you get an idea by looking at this. These maps, I think, are 11 by about 15 across with, you know, three, six, nine hexes here, three, six, nine, 11 hexes wide. So again, a small footprint game. It's going to be tight, plays fast, and kind of works out that way in terms of uh, gameplay. So again, we kind of get a rural landscape in you know, kind of Western Europe here. Some towns and some woods and some roads going through. And again, there are a variety to train here. One of the interesting elements is that there are snow rules. And so this is the same map as we looked at on the other side, except highlighted for a design that has said snow has fallen for this. And I think that means you could play optionally if you wanted to each scenario as either a, you know, a, a regular uh, non-snow version or a snowy version here. Oh, I do want to mention too, kind of highlighting that gameplay, it's probably a good time to talk about that, that the stacking rules in the game, there is no stacking. It's one unit per hex and you can't, it has to be enforced at that all times. So that's going to kind of think, keep things nice and straightforward for people that are new to wargaming. Stacking can kind of create a whole level of complexity to the game. So again, visually, it's going to be a relatively straightforward analysis if you're new to wargaming. Here's our second map. Go rind it relatively, uh, you know, similar type of map with some different places for elevation. Elevation is figured into the game as well and a nice rural setting for tank on tank combat so we get some open areas that the tanks can fire. And then again, the other side that we looked at was our uh, snow map too. So again, there you go. We get two maps slash four maps and player aid, set of counters, and a modest rule set that looks like it's going to be relatively straightforward for introducing wargamers to the hobby of wargaming. Um, 
If you've played this, it'd be interesting to see how it worked out for you. I look forward to giving this a shot. I will be bringing some gameplay from both the East Front and the West Front series to the channel at some point. I'm very excited to kind of see how this looks as an introductory wargaming opportunity for people that are new to wargaming, because I do have a number of friends that are interested in my hobby, and I, I don't want to break them by introducing something that's going to be overly complex. And so I'm looking forward to giving this a shot with some friends as well. Um, Look forward to hearing your comments. Thanks. I'll put a link to the unboxing for the uh, expansion for this, which will be coming up soon. And also I'll put a link once it's ready to some gameplay videos as they come out as well. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.